welcome back. I know you missed us. It's been a while. Um, so we're going to get, we're going to talk about What did I do? <laughs> you were like, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to talk about um, how culture and religion play a factor into our lives, into our careers, um, whether we think our actions represent culture or religion, whether it doesn't, and more. So we're just going to start right into it, like dive right into it, you know. Um, let's start with the first basic question. Do you feel like your culture and re your religion play a factor <clears throat> into your career or your life in itself? I mean, yeah, I, I would say yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I think like I practice and like I'm very vocally Palestinian. <laughs> So I would say, yeah, but what about you guys? I feel like, from like my perspective of it, <clears throat> excuse me, is like from fashion, since I'm going into fashion, I like constantly have in the back of my mind, like, because I like, I love modest clothing, like I want to get into modest clothing, but like, I think about like, again, like how many people are going to judge me? Like, what if I make like this modest collection, but it's not modest enough for some people? And like, that gets so much mm -hmm. hate. Like, am I doing right by the religion or like, Am I, like, me creating this, is, like, is that, like, wrong on my fault? Like, I don't know. I always think about that. But I feel like if you were to create modest clothing, you're not just creating modest clothing for, like, a hijabi audience. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want it to be, like, all-inclusive. Like, I yeah. want it to be fashionable. But, like, I guess, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I, like, in the back of my mind, I have, like, this fear. I'm like, what if, like, what I'm doing is wrong? And, like, day of judgment happens. And I'm just like, I don't know. But it's not intentional in the end of the day, so you know, I, don't, I feel like it's not, like, if you, like, you know, you're trying, you know, I feel like it's just, yeah. I don't like know, I don't, any piece of I don't look at it like that. Based yeah. Off of, like, anything else that you dress it with. So, like, you creating a piece of clothing and, like, the way somebody actually wears it, that's not your fault. That's true. If that's, yeah. like, a concern of yours, I don't think so. I mean, like, like, me speaking, journalism and stuff, I always, I always feel like I have to say and do a certain thing because if I was to slip up or like say or do anything in support of this or this, everybody would come at me. And, and I just feel like people would love to come at me sometimes. I, I genuinely think that there are people who like, I don't know, do like some, I'm sure you, you guys can relate, like sometimes it, it sucks. It's like you're following your dream and like you're doing this thing that you really want to do, but you know that there are people out there. They don't take it seriously. Yeah, they don't take it seriously. Hmm. They're haters, and they don't want to see you succeed in what you're doing because you're doing something that you actually want hmm. to do. So sometimes like it sucks, you know, because you feel like you always have to please a certain audience, yeah, or that you just you have to be perfect. But everybody else around you is so allowed not to be, and it's not fair, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I feel like we live in like in a sensitive society where since everything is on social media, everyone has an opinion and I feel like people think there's like a right way and a wrong way when there's not, it's not just that clear and cut and social media has become like a weapon for some people where it's like, especially like with religion when it comes to that, like, like um, modest influencers, like when they post something, like there's constantly people like bashing on them for, I don't know, wearing whatever they're wearing and they don't think it's modest enough or something of the sort or they're not representing, like, Islam correctly. Like, everyone always has an opinion on it and it's just so exhausting. I don't know. Like, you, no one's perfect. No one's going to be perfect. You can only, like, live your life to the fullest. I don't know. Like, you gotta live your life for you. You can't live your life for anybody else. Other than God. You can't live your life for God. <laughs> That's why you just shouldn't care, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's easier, it's easy said than done though, honestly. Yeah. Sometimes like it just gets very like overwhelming and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get hate for this. At the same time, I'm like, uh, I don't really care because mm -hmm. it's, that's just their opinion. It's, it's fine, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, do you guys ever, count, like, okay, take for inst instance, if you're posting something on like Twitter, social media, Instagram, like, do you ever like catch yourself like pausing and like, wait, should I actually post this? All the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the time. You know how many times I'll like type out a tweet and I just don't even, like, I'll just draft it and I never look at it again. Is that like because culture or religion? Or because Ooh. like, <laughs> I think it's Thinking culture. Thinking about it like that now. For me, it's culture and it's also my career. 
I'm not supposed to have an opinion, but like I'm a person with a lot of opinions, so it kind of doesn't work in my favor sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to think if I've done that. Have you ever stopped yourself? I mean, you asked the question, like, have you ever done that to yourself? I've posted and deleted before. I'm like, never mind. Just kidding. Even though some people saw it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to delete it. Like tweets or pictures of you? <laughs> um, right now, pictures. I haven't had a Twitter in like two years. Yeah. So, yeah. What about you, Cabal? Have you ever like stopped yourself? Yeah, but that was just because I was acting a little bit bold. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, shoot. If I post <laughs> like, this, everyone's going to get offended. Like, Or no, I think it's a little too like out there. And then like sometimes, like religion and culture, I feel like answering your question previously I feel like it does play a role in my career now because I was never really in tune with it as much growing up because when I was younger I was definitely trying to live that American lifestyle and be like super whitewashed which wasn't healthy for me and so I started accepting the fact that like my culture is just so rich in depth and at this point like I know you guys are talking about posting and stuff but at this point with everything I've been through, like I really don't care what I post or what people have to say about me. Like people are not gonna like me and I have to accept the fact that I can't make everyone please. Like whether it's gonna be like someone who doesn't take my stuff seriously, doesn't think what I'm doing is serious. Like honestly, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because I try to believe in myself and try to strengthen my relationship with myself. Cause like you said about like God, you know, like you're living your life under God's terms, kind of? Is that what you kind of said? Like, I don't know what you exactly said. Just living life for God. Like, yeah. That's why we live, at, technically speaking, if you want to get into the religious aspect, we live to follow like God's, like what God wants us to do. That's what mm-hmm. religion is. Yeah, exactly. So I feel the same way, but I also feel like I'm living in the way that God put me on this planet to do something extraordinary or just to do something and make something of myself. So I'm going to be living on my terms as well. Like everything is written. We have a saying in like our culture about Gismet. So yeah, we all have something written down in our destiny, but at the same time, I also want to find that path on my own. And sometimes it's going to be a little more difficult, but yeah, so. To answer your question that you asked me like 20 years ago, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a good answer. I liked it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fully, you explained that <laughs> very well. Cabal. Yeah. Cabal gives really good advice. Um, yes, she does. You do. I can text her like anytime and she'll get back to me like, girl, shut up. You're hyping me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, like, react up. <laughs> You, you said it? something, <laughs> and I'm drawing a blank on specifically what it's like, what it was, but it brought a question to my head for you. Um, how, how would you recommend people being able to like go about their life without worrying what other people think? Because I feel like we live in a society where everybody's so scared to act and do a certain thing because. They just like they're worried they're gonna be judged for it, you know. Because everybody's so sensitive now. Oh yeah, I feel that's, like we live in the most sensitive era too. That's what, that's mm-hmm. probably the biggest reason because of how sensitive the internet is and the world is now. Like you, like you can't say certain things anymore like we used to. Uh, like you know you can't do certain things now. People may like misconstrue what you put out there, and it's just it's more difficult. And that's why you just gotta not. But is that a bad thing? Do you think? Like, do you think it's a it is? Bad it's thing? a horrible thing. I feel like the, our like everybody's very close-minded now in a way. You would think we're being more liberal or more open-minded, but I think it's like kind of the opposite. Do you guys feel like it like, almost on top is? Of that, like cancel culture just became a thing. And it yes. Just, mm. Thank you. That's like a big of, part like, too. Scary to put some stuff out there because there's someone out there that's gonna dig up your history and your past, and even if you're not that person anymore, you know. Oh yeah, I've seen celebs <laughs> fall down from that real totally. quick. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking of like you know Jeffrey Star that like he is totally, probably the of. right. Yeah. That's the prime example of someone who has made a really big career. And then. Mm-hmm. Wait. Um. Explain, cause like I love him like a lot. He's great. I can't, I can't lie. I never, I've never watched. I uh, like I I like like him because he doesn't like care about certain things. You gotta yeah. watch his apology video where he addresses. Which one? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> like, I want dude. Now have to make like apology videos. 
But it's just like, that's a thing now, too. I don't know. And you shouldn't have to apologize for an action that you backed and you were, like, totally okay with. And unless somebody, like, really shows you how it was wrong. Like, say, for instance, somebody said something, like, totally insensitive to somebody's culture, but they, like, were raised in a time, like, they weren't around that culture. Like, they had no idea that what they said could be deemed offensive. But somebody, like, points out something, like, hey, like, you know, this is offensive because X, Y, Z. And then you say, you know what, I, like, I was uneducated, I didn't know about that. And then they say, you know, like, you know, like, hey, I'm stupid, I shouldn't have said this because I didn't know. But, like, you know, like, do you think, like, is there a road to forgiveness for somebody who genuinely did not know something? Because I feel like that people are so quick to say, like, no, because Cancel. if you were, yeah, like, if you didn't know, you didn't know, like, we are human, you know, like, we're allowed to, to screw up every now and then. Well, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. Cabal has something to say. No, tell me. Yeah. Is it about Jeffrey? <laughs> no, I mean, there's an extent to forgiveness. <laughs> like, yeah. I think of myself as a very forgiving person, but there's some things that if you say it and you do it, it's there. And if, like, your actions... Actions will always speak louder than words. And if you're somehow still portraying that little pinch of racism still, uh -huh. then I'm, I'm never going to forgive you. I'll just, you're like, your apology is acknowledged, but it doesn't mean I have to take it. I'm not going to take your f apology. That can go in the garbage. Like, thank you. Okay. I read it. Goodbye. Like, I have an example, though. Like, for, like, I grew up in, like, a very, like, there were a lot of Arabs, like, where I grew up, okay? Yeah. And I went to school with a lot of Arabs and a lot of white kids, okay? And mm -hmm. a lot of the Arabs would refer to each other as, like, Arabs, okay? But, okay. like, one time a white kid said, like, oh, I love Arabs. And somebody was like, oh, like, you know, you shouldn't say Arabs, you know? Well, see, he didn't know. That's what I'm saying. That's though. the thing. Yeah, that's things I can forgive. I was thinking about the big things. I was oh, like, no. it's if like... If you're referring to, like, if somebody says, like, the N-word or something, no, you don't forgive somebody. Yeah, like no. That. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no, that's just outrageous. But, like, somebody who, like, genuinely did not know something and then, like, you pointed out to them, they're like, oh, my God, like, I'm never going to say that again. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, like, there's just that boundary and line. Like, when I think about that, I think about, like... In our culture, there's, like, a lot of debates with girls wearing a lot of, like, bindis and just the eyebrows and doing all of that with, like, the gemstones because they think it's cultural appropriation. And to me, I'm, like, I'm in between. There's, like, a certain fine line where you can actually go past it and start insulting a culture, mm -hmm. especially if you're racist towards my culture, but you're still wearing the henna and still going to festivals looking like that. Like, you can't do that. What Coachella. are you doing? Yeah. So, like, you obviously would forgive a person who was once racist because they had no knowledge on realizing, oh, I'm being racist because I grew up around this. You know, like, you, they just weren't educated enough because of their upbringing, you know? Well, do you understand what I'm saying? Instance, and they're like, oh, now I know that's actually being racist. Like, what the fuss? Like, <laughs> what the <Okay>. fuss? <laughs> yeah. She's oh. like, fuss. Do you not swear? <laughs> no, I do, but not, like, we're all on, the time. We're on YouTube. What the f***? <laughs> f*** you. <laughs> what up, yo? Can you believe that? <laughs> okay, so like, there is um, this Klansman the, from the KKK. He oh, okay. ended... What? <gasps> oh! Are you talking about that one racist well, where veteran's is going? What? I said, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> like, we're getting into it now. <laughs> no, because to add on to her point, it's like, there was an ex... Klansman, he switched switched sides. I don't know, like he he um he left the KKK. He left the KKK, right. and now he White goes supremacy. around trying to educate people on why it's harmful and why it's wrong. So like, do you forgive that person? Do you forgive someone who like once bashed on Islam? Like that one guy, like he wanted. He's to a go veteran, and bomb. dude. I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I seen that one. Yeah, and instead he converted to Islam. Like, I feel like it's like. I don't know. Do you forgive those people? Like I, like I yeah, because you know that they like learned and like that's not who they are anymore. But a lot of people don't. Okay, so like it's kind of similar to Kanye right now. You know how he spoke out about slavery was a choice. So a lot of people haven't. Kanye is him, a but very he's controversial person. He is something. He called himself God, but now he's making a. Now he created a whole he's album a, about God. He's a different. He's a character. That's what he is. He's a character. So we're not talking about that. We're talking about like actual genuine people who who have like learned from their mistakes, learned from their past, and now are advocating for the other side and trying to educate people on like what how harmful that is. Well, yeah, I feel like you should be forgiving because we all have a past. We all weren't born perfect. Like, we've all done mistakes, and we've all, like, 
we're just not perfect. We should be able to forgive each other and understand where that person was coming from. If it was unintentional, like, oh my gosh, like what you said about the Arabs, like that mm -hmm. made sense to me. Like, of course I'd forgive somebody because they didn't know, they accepted it and they're not going to do it again. But if they're going to keep doing that, then what's the point? Like just mm -hmm. subtly though, you know, even if it's not like intentional and it's like, I don't know. It's also your upbringing too. I feel like if you grow up in an area that's very diverse in culture, you should know better. But if you grow up in like, a small town in like a state that like doesn't really have big cities. I'm not gonna. I don't even know one off the top of my head. <laughs> Idaho. Know. Yeah. Who goes? To, who lives in Idaho? I'm so sorry if you. Li you guys have great potatoes though. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I, no offense to Idaho. You guys are really cool. I recently found out that you you guys actually touched the border of Canada. I was never good at geography. Damn. I know, right? <laughs> the look you just did was the look I made <laughs> when I found. How does that even make sense? No, it, it, like You're next to Washington. It, it like yeah, where's like, Washington? It, it like makes this like weird shape and it touches the top. It's like an hourglass. She <laughs> is she shaped like that? I told you I wasn't good at geometry. Why she built like that? <laughs> 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 Anyways, you guys, so, I am so sorry. Bear with us. We just finished our midterms. Are you guys done with midterms? I'm finally done after three weeks of midterms. My professor just commented on my midterm saying, um, dot, dot, dot. Are you, who? <laughs> I'm not naming names. I mean, what? Let's skip, let's end. <laughs> anyway, that was a really good episode, <laughs> guys. If you like this episode, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, hit follow. that like button right below. You, if you know, you want us to continue, you should probably start. Sharing. If you didn't like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, still like the video. All right, peace Thanks out. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Let us know what to do next. next. Yeah, send us like questions and stuff. Don't be afraid. Thing. We love opinions. Can I get a vibe check? Please. <laughs> yeah, but then I backed into the actual court. I'm like, ah. <laughs>